Evolution 3 is a simulation enabling students to investigate many aspects of evolution in one easy-to-use package. Investigations include genetic diversity in small and large populations, migration, different inheritance patterns, mutations, mating preferences, natural selection, speciation, and much more. When we enter the main screen, we can see the help dialog, which has important links to additional help information and recommended student experiments, which are added to from time to time. This help dialog can be accessed from the help menu above. Now we see six islands and the beetles which are already breeding. On entering the program, no mutations are allowed and simple breeding conditions are set. Along the bottom of the screen we have the current populations of beetles and their total. A pause and play button allows for easy control and the new experiment button gives us access to the detailed simulation controls. A timer display helps keep track of the experiment's progress. Three buttons allow easy access to the island view, graphs and data. The right side contains control panels which enable easy control and monitoring of the simulation. The most significant panel is the sea level which can be used to create small islands or one large island mass. Disasters can play a major role in evolution ranging from total annihilation to 25% deaths in this case. Population enables you to add single beetles. Using the right mouse button or control click, multiple beetles can be added at one time. For more beetles we can add 10, 100 or maximum number allowed. according to these ratios which can be easily changed. Beetles can also be picked up and moved from island to island. Pointing to the beetle and pressing the delete key will kill it. Holding down the key and moving the mouse can kill many more. Island data will give totals on each island as well as the allele frequency, ideal for hardy Weinberg studies. Selection allows each island to be shaded. This shading may affect the survival of beetles differently according to the rules set out in the new experiment screen. This is discussed in detail in the next video. Lastly, Learn to Use is open at the beginning of the program and gives you a link to this and other related videos. Under the File menu, experimental conditions can be saved and loaded if you have all the modules. Now a quick look at the new experiment screen. Select the button next to Play Pause. Here we see the new experiment screen when all modules are active. Inheritance patterns can be changed, even random ones selected. Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium can be selected when sea level is at its lowest. Mutation rates and which mutations occur can be set. How islands can be populated can be controlled. Different maps can be selected. Mating preferences can be changed to create speciation. Survival rates of beetles on shaded islands can be altered. See other related videos for more detail about the new experiment screen. As you can see, this simulation offers an immense number of possible evolutionary scenarios. Evolution is sold as a base module, genetic diversity, and two expansion modules, inheritance and mutation, and module two, selection and speciation. Each builds on the previous module to create an outstanding piece of educational software.